This is Pooch Cove. Isn't it amazing? Hey everybody, how you doing? Yes, I'm out for another ride. It's a whopping plus five degrees today and foggy. The rain stopped, so uh, that's all right. Anyway, today I'm heading to Pooch Cove. I've been there many times, but uh, hey, what's another time? <laughs> Besides, it's, it's a beautiful place. It's a scenic place. It's perfect spot to go and just um, sit back for a few minutes and clear your mind, clear the head. And maybe I'll even boil up a coffee. I brought my drone with me. We'll see how it goes. If it's if it's not too foggy and not too windy out there, I might uh, pop it up in the air and get a few clips. Since it's been a uh, it's been a couple months since I used it. So anyway, sit back, enjoy the ride. Pooch Cove Habitat Serenity, I think is what it said. Might have been sanctuary, I'm not sure. <laughs> anyway, this is all Pooch Cove here as well, but in a couple seconds we'll get near the ocean. Not that I'm discrediting or putting down anybody who doesn't live by the ocean, but I love the ocean. That's why I'm out here. Alright, here we are. This is Pooch Cove. Almost looks like the sun is trying to break out over that way. That's the CBS side, I bet. <laughs> so I think I am going to set up a coffee somewhere. But first, I'm going to ride through the community and just show you... Uh, Show you what this community is about, and then I'll find a spot to stick around. Well, the ocean's nice and active today. You'll see that in a second. You see the church up there, straight ahead, across the street from that is uh, part of the East Coast Trail. I think it's the East Coast Trail. Yeah. Yeah, just next to this post office you can park and the trail takes you down that way. Look at that. See? That's why I'm here. <laughs> oh, it looks nice over there. Going too slow, start to fog up. It's four degrees now. Down here is where I may end up going to have my coffee. I'll see. I've been down there before. Community garden.
wind is chilly on the forehead and the cheeks. Might have to put my uh, visor down. Hikers Park there. Because this leads to the East Coast Trail. There's a trail along here somewhere to the right. And it continues all the way out to Cape St. Francis, which is way out that way. I was out there a couple years ago on my bike and enjoyed a uh, coffee and some drone footage. You can look for that if you want. But I think I'm going to turn around here now because there's not much else to really to, uh, to show you over this way. Sure, that's a perfect spot there for uh, for a coffee. Once I do what I'm going to do over here, maybe I'll come back there and sit. It's got nice benches. I'm going to show you where I went for coffee. Look down there. It would suck, wouldn't it? <laughs> Watch the loose gravel. Beautiful, isn't it? So for those of you that haven't been here, this is Pooch Cove. Isn't it amazing? It's awesome here. Yeah, I never had plans to come out today. I looked at the forecast. It was calling for rain and fog and cold. But I changed my brakes this morning on, the, on my wing and I figured I might as well come out and try it out. Besides, you can dress for the cold. It's not pouring down rain or anything. It's no different than getting out on a sled in the winter or your quad. You just dress for it. Simple as that, right? Anyway, I'm going to show you this area. How rebellious do I want to be? It's all fenced. I'm not going out over the edge. I'm going to just hang this out over there just to show you what it looks like. Not too long ago, a vehicle came down over that slipway over there. I'll go over now in a second and show it to you from the other angle. Couldn't you just stay here all day and just watch this and listen to it? It's worth the ride. You gotta get out, even if it's cold. Cold's all in the mind. 
I say that when I got a, a gold wing with a heated seat and heated grips, so I'm kind of spoiled there. And it definitely helps with the progress, sort of, with the process of riding in cold weather. Anyway, here, I'm going to show you this now. So this right here is that slipway. Yeah, in the news a few weeks ago or a few months ago, somebody drove down here in a vehicle. It's tempting, isn't it? If I was 12 or 13, I'd be on something and sliding down over that. That's probably what this little sled here is for. Can you imagine straight down into that? It'd be fun. There's always something photogenic, I don't know if that's the word I'm looking for, about these old rickety wooden fences. I don't think I'm going to bother with my drone today because it's a bit of a breeze at ground level. I can imagine once you're up in the air it's going to be a lot worse. And I was out here one time before and almost lost my drone so I'm kind of paranoid about it. We shall see but I think I'm going to pass on it today just to be safe. I don't want to lose it. But in the meantime, I'm going to go over there and show you that spot. And before I go, this is one of the reasons I like reverse on my bike, is because I can pull into places like this and just back out. Because there's no way I'd be able to push it out on that wet grass. And we made it to the other side. If you look over that way, you can see the slipway. That's where I was just hanging out for a bit and showed you around. Hudson's Factories.
I can see why the boats are on the other side. Somebody forgot to. <laughs> These boats are famous. You always see photos of them. The last time I was in this spot was about a year ago. It was a year ago in April, actually. And there was icebergs out there. I also remember on that trip here, my daughter and her boyfriend were here with me as well. And I had my drone out that day. God, it's tempting, because it's not as windy over this way. But my motorcycle is back there. And I don't know if I really want to walk back and get my drone. More rickety fences. Yay. <laughs> right on this little spot here that we posed for a photo with my drone. Yeah, this definitely beats sitting on the uh, my recliner.
for that coffee now. Pretty sure it's not going to be too busy today. <laughs> Four degrees. Most people are probably inside bundled up. Temperature so cold, tire pressure dropped. Because <laughs> my uh, tire pressure indicator is flashing, saying that I need to inflate a bit. I'll be good once I uh, ride for a few minutes. All right, here we go. Good enough, I'd say. So it looks like there's some history to this place. In memory of William Tuff. He was in the Royal Navy, prisoner of war in 1942 in Italy. He was released from uh, his POW camp in an exchange on Christmas 1945. Bill passed away on February 19, 2010 at the age of 89. So it has something uh, special, definitely a special meaning behind this place. All right, let's get the stuff on the go. It's been a while since I had a coffee. This right here is awesome. It's a uh, it's a knockoff version. It's like a Chinese version of uh, more expensive brands. It's uh, Fixed Star 2. And I'll show you in a second what's in there. Got my coffee press, coffee, and of course some water. So inside this little thing, got your lid. This can sit on it if you want to lay your own pan to uh, or pot or whatever to heat up holds your uh, propane and the stove itself you may not have enough propane it's been a while since I uh, used it and I didn't check it before I came we'll see I don't need a lot it's only going to be a partial cup today. It also comes with this nice little stand that fits on the bottom of the tank. Keeps it stable on uneven ground. Or even on flat ground. Keep it from tipping over once you put the pot on. Alright, let's see if we can get her going. This has little notches in it. Keeps it from tipping. Fail, and I end up spilling my coffee. Already, didn't take long, less than two minutes. Didn't even have time to clean up my mess. <laughs> I did reuse it though. All right, got to do the old taste test, see how it goes.
it's not too bad considering I'm out of practice <laughs> I don't think my mic is working is it so this right here is my coffee shop for the day cheers This is better than the Keurig. Well, I'm going to pack up now. My coffee's just about gone. And then I'm going to sit back and just relax for a few minutes before I decide to uh, tackle rush hour traffic in around the city. So, I'll see you on the bike.